some of these movies you all see huh today i am promoting some movies see fight club see harrel and modi थोड़ा लाइट कम करेंगे क्या इधर का जस्ट सी दिस इट्स द बिगनिंग ऑफ द मूवी और थोड़ा कट कर दो ना सब लाइट दिख रहा है song is very good for the theme of their don't topic don't be shy just let your feelings roll on by on by on by you know love is better than a song on on love is where all of us belong on on so don't be shy Just let your feelings roll on by. Don't wear fear, or nobody will know you're there. But you're there, 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 you're there. Nobody know you or you're there. Just let your feelings roll on by, and don't wear fear, or nobody will know you're there. Just lift your head and let your feelings out instead. Now don't be shy. Just let your feelings roll on by, on by, on by. On by, on by, on by, on by, on by, on by, on by. I suppose you think that's very funny, Errol. Hello? Hello? Faye? Yeah. Uh, darling, be a dear and cancel my appointment with Renee this afternoon. I don't know. He'll be furious. But I've had such a trying day. And with guests coming this evening. Oh, would you? That's sweet. Tell him I promise to be in on Tuesday. 
<laughs> Thank you, Faith. You're all done. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Dinner at eight, Harold. And do try and be a little more vivacious. Of course, you know, Harold's father had a similar sense of the absurd. I remember once in Paris, he just stepped out for cigarettes. And the next thing I knew, he was arrested by the police for floating nude down the Seine. <laughs> Experimenting in river currents with rubber water wings. <laughs> Mold ones. <laughs> well, that cost quite a bit of enfluence et d'argent <laughs> brush up, I can tell you. <laughs> Harold, dear, don't play with your food. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? I have a sore throat. Oh. Well, now, directly after dinner, I want you to go straight to bed. Harold's always been a very delicate child. Even as a baby, he seemed totally prone to every possible kind of illness. Harold, dear, eat up your beets. I remember once in Tokyo. I had to call the embassy for a doctor. That's very interesting, Harold, and I think very illuminative. There seems to be a definite pattern emerging. And of course, this pattern, once isolated, uh, can be coped with. Recognize the problem and you're halfway on the road to its, uh, its solution. <laughs> uh, tell me, Harold, what do you do for fun? What activity gives you a different sense of enjoyment from the others? Uh, what do you find fulfilling? What gives you that special satisfaction? I go to funerals. Telephone myself alone Hoping someone would miss me You see this child? I go to funerals. Parents are too obsessed with their lives. They are very hi-fi. Child does not have his own identity. And he is creating extreme ways of getting attention. Need for attention is in the natrum line. So he has a need for strong attention. And he is going into extreme. Alumina has oxygen, which has a leprous thing in it. So it can do sometimes very absurd. Like this boy said, I would plan how they murder, how they do things. This boy also said, I want to be special in an extreme way. If you remember what he says. I forgot. I think of strange things like murder and all sort of violent hitting and shouting. So this is what you see very often in Alumina. This is the parents who are so obsessed with their own lives, they don't allow the child to think for himself. And so the child does not have an identity. I'll give you an example. I will we'll show you a little bit about this. This is a very, very interesting part of the movie. This movie you must see. How Alumina state is created. The mother thinks for the child. There is a psychological test which the child has to fill. Because now that... He is giving crazy answers to the therapist. So he gave him a test to do. And see how the mother reacts to the test. Some of these things in the really movie are... Here is the first question. Are you uncomfortable meeting new people? Well, I think that's a yes. Don't you agree, Harold? Should sex education be taught outside the home? 
Oh, I would say no, wouldn't you, Harold? Yeah, we'll give a D there. Three, should women run for president of the United States? Well, I don't see why not. Absolutely, yes. So the do mother is feeling for... Do you remember jokes and take pleasure and saying, in relating... Don't you agree, habits? Harold? No, you don't do that, do you, Harold? No, absolutely no. Do you the often thinks get the feeling him. that perhaps life isn't worth living? Hmm? What do you think, Harold? A, B? Oh, we'll put down C, not sure. Hmm. Is the subject of sex being overexploited by our mass media? Well, that would have to be yes, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is it difficult for you to accept criticism? No, we'll mark D. Do you sometimes have headaches or backaches after a difficult day? Yes, I do indeed. Do you go to sleep easily? I'd say so. Do you believe in capital punishment for murder? Oh yes, I do indeed. In your opinion, are social affairs usually a waste of time? Heavens, no. Can God influence our lives? Oh, yes. Alumina is fear of knives. Why? Morbid impulses, I can kill somebody. Have you ever thought about this? I am trying to bring some new dimensions into this. This is that inner thing. You see, he first directs it to the mother. I can kill you for what you are doing to me. The mother thinks for him. The main feeling of Illumina is, you don't know, I know. So the child always thinks, what I think is right or what my mother thinks is right. Confusion of identity. And then he creates this man who is so smart, who knows everything, who is a James Bond. James Bond is invincible, he knows everything. He does everything. And he's perfect. And he says he's smarter, he can answer back everybody. Otherwise he was a recluse, he was sitting at home not doing anything. Reading same page again and again, Abba, Baba, Baba. He doesn't know which word to emphasize on. Unsure about his own identity. And then he creates another, which is also a quality of the third column, division, doubleness. 